Did you know that Jesus was Jewish? You might be asking, what does that mean for your Christian faith? Watch today and discover how understanding the Jewish roots of your faith and your connection to Israel and the Jewish people can transform your life and the way you read the Bible. Coming up on Jewish Voice. Shalom and welcome to Jewish Voice. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Jonathan Burness, and I'm joined once again by my co-host, Ezra Benjamin. Ezra, we often use the word Yeshua on the program, and some may know who we're talking about, and some may not, but we're talking about Jesus. That's right. Jesus is not his given name. His given name was a Hebrew name, and it's Yeshua, and it means salvation. Today, we're going to look at the word Yeshua because there's so much meaning. Ezra, take it from there. Sure. And why Yeshua? Why was his name called Yeshua? Right. And, I, you know, Jonathan, I'm thinking of actually in, in mainstream worship, you at home uh, watching today may have heard this. More and more people are actually singing the name Yeshua. And we know we're talking about the Lord, we're talking about Jesus, but why are we saying Yeshua? What does it mean? And, and before we get into that, I want to say, you know, we know Jesus answers to his name in any language. Jesus in English, Jesus in Spanish, uh, Yesu, you know, in other languages. And yet, none of those ways that we say it in the languages we speak as our first language, as our heart language, were the name he was given originally. And how do we know that? We see it in Matthew uh, chapter 1, verse 21. This is announcing that Mary, Miriam in Hebrew, would uh, become pregnant by the involvement of the Holy Spirit and would give birth to this son. And Matthew 1, 21, Jonathan says, and you shall call his name Yeshua because he will save his people from their sins. Yeshua in Hebrew means literally, very simple, one word, salvation. And so... What, uh, what the Jewish people understood was that this Messiah would come, this Deliverer, this Savior would come, and His name was His purpose. His name is salvation because He would bring salvation to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He would save His people from their it's sins. It's one example why Hebrew is so important because right. you can't understand the, the idea of you'll call His name Jesus, right. uh, saving His people from their sins until you understand the Hebrew his name is Yeshua because Yeshua is salvation. That's right. You know, Jonathan, one of the questions we get so often from, from our partners, from those who write to us is, why did, why did Yeshua have to die? Why did the Messiah have to die? And yet in his name is the answer, right? You'll call his name salvation because he'll save his people, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, from their sins. And we know according to the scriptures that without the shedding of blood, there can be no forgiveness right. of sins. Right. Hey, something you said I want to go back to. Yeah. More and more worship, especially with, with younger believers, right. are incorporating the word Yeshua. Mm -hmm. why, why do you think that is? I, I'm fascinated by that. Yeah, I think there's a hunger to understand, uh, if you will, I'm going to borrow Paul's language from Romans 11 for a minute, that root of the olive tree that Jew and Gentile believers are part of, either as natural branches grafted back in through faith, or as wild olive branches, Gentiles, people who were apart from Israel being grafted into that faith of Abraham. I think there's a hunger to say, what's the story beyond my own salvation experience? And that, Jonathan, is, is so much of why we spend so much time on this program, talking about those Hebrew roots of your Christian faith because you've been grafted into a story that goes beyond your own salvation experience. It's thousands of years old. It's from the beginning of beginnings. It's from Genesis through Abraham, through Isaac, through Jacob. You are part of a people of God who believed his promises and it was accounted to you for righteousness. And I think, especially in my generation, in that younger generation, there's a hunger to say, I need to be part of something bigger than myself. And singing the name Yeshua, worshiping Yeshua, the Jewish man, son of the living God, connects us to a story that's beyond Jesus, my personal redeemer, and says, ah, this is the one that, that's been waited for. This is the Messiah we've waited for throughout history. I'm part of the people of God. That's a great answer. I think it's fascinating. Yeah. I really do. And another song that's so popular right. 
now the Lord bless you and keep you, which right. is the ironic benediction. Totally. Which has been the, the prayer of the people of Israel well before the New Testament. Right. Uh, since the Exodus. So totally. It's, and, it's you know, amazing. it's a blessing for all of us who call upon the name of the Lord, Jew and Gentile alike. But that, that uh, song that Bethel has made so popular and now hundreds of other worship artists around the world singing it in their own language is, as you said, actually the ironic benediction. God said to Moses, tell Aaron, this is how you bless the children of Israel. And so by faith, you all have been grafted into that olive tree. You, you're, you're, you're part of that blessing. That blessing comes upon you. And yet, Jonathan, so many Jewish people around the world don't know that that blessing, that God would turn his face toward us and shine upon us, was first for the house of Israel. Yeah, it, it, tens of millions of hits. Something is going on here. That's right. And it, I'm, I'm just A I'm return just to those Hebrew it. roots. A return to the it. Hebrew language. Well, we're talking about Yeshua. Right. Uh, in particular, Adonai Yeshua T, which is the Lord, my salvation. Mm -hmm. And the idea that uh, this is not a New Testament concept right. solely. Of course, it's, it's uh, very prominent in the New Testament, mm -hmm. but it goes back to the old. Right. And it goes back to the Torah. It's foundational. Uh, I sh we're talking about this argument that Jewish people have that Jesus is not to be found in the Old Testament, true, but you're not looking at his Hebrew name, his right. given name. Right. When you look at his Hebrew name, Yeshua, it's everywhere. Uh, Isaiah 12, 2, great example. Let's look at Isaiah 12, 2 uh, together. It says this, surely God is my salvation. He is my Yeshua. That's right. Yeshua T. Right. Uh, here, my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord himself, isn't that interesting, is my strength and my defense. He has become my Yeshua, my Amen. Jesus. There it is, folks. Amen. And the context here, Jonathan, of Isaiah 12, real quickly, is, is that God's saying there's going to come a day when I'm going to regather the outcasts of Israel. And in that day, you're going to say, ah, oh, now I see that God is actually my salvation, not just my provider, not just my deliverer, he's my salvation. He himself has become our salvation. That's right. Isn't that prophetic? It is, Jonathan. He himself. And this example of that, the, the use of that word, that name, Yeshua, salvation, is just one of dozens that we see throughout the Old Testament scriptures. In the latest in your series, Confessing the Hebrew Scriptures, you are showing us uh, so many, dozens, over 40, in fact, of the places in the Bible where God reveals himself as Adonai Yeshua T, the Lord, my salvation, where we see that root word Yeshua. Here's the Confessing the Hebrew Scriptures Library. This is number 10. The latest. Hot off the press, the latest, probably the most important, Ezra. Adonai Yeshua T, the Lord, my salvation. Mm -hmm. uh, that's our message. That's, That's why right. Jewish Voice uh, exists. Right. To share the good news of salvation in no other name than the name of Yeshua, which means salvation. And we're focusing this week on children. That's right. Children in Zimbabwe, children in Africa that need to hear the gospel, that are wide open to the gospel. Through our Zera, our seed program, we are sharing the gospel with little Jewish children, and many of them are receiving the right. Lord. The good news of Yeshua, of salvation, contextualized not only for a very young audience, children anywhere from three to eight or 10 or 11 years old, but also contextualized to present Yeshua as the shepherd of the lost sheep of the house of Israel, to share the gospel in a Jewish context for Jewish children in Zimbabwe, in Ethiopia, in other scattered so, Jewish communities So please get involved. Uh, if you can send a gift today, we'll get you out immediately. This the brand new Confessing the Hebrew Scriptures, Adonai Yeshua T, over 40 scriptures that are in English, Hebrew with a CD, and you'll actually hear it in Hebrew. It'll get into your heart, into your spirit. These are really workbooks for you to get the Word of God into your heart. But if you can give a gift of at least $250 today, we want to send you the whole library. We're going to send you this whole colorful library all 10 confessing the Hebrew scriptures. We want to sow it into your life as you sow into the lives of Jewish children in Zimbabwe. Don't miss 
this opportunity. The very first chapter of the New Testament, Matthew 121, reveals, You shall call his name Yeshua, because he will save his people from their sins. Jewish Voice wants to come alongside you so you can fully embrace that truth. Get your own copy of the 10th volume of Confessing the Hebrew Scriptures, Adonai Yeshua T. The Lord is my salvation. Gain fresh insight on how to speak and confess 40 key passages of Scripture. Go online, call the number on the screen, or write, make a gift of $40 or more and we'll send that hardcover workbook right out to you. Plus, we'll include this engaging 90-day devotional with silver gilded pages and ribbon bookmark. It's the perfect take-along size, inspiring you to be more intentional about reflecting on God's Word every day. You'll also be supporting our Seeds program, drawing children around the world into relationship with the shepherd. That's one more blessing that comes with your gift of $40 for a gift of $250 or more. We can reach an entire neighborhood of children and send you the entire Confessing the Hebrew Scriptures Library. That's 10 full color workbooks with scripture, CDs, photos, and teaching that will draw you into a deeper connection to God's promises as healer, provider, shepherd, and seven other attributes of God. This unique library will equip you to confess God's Word like never before, impacting your own life and your family's life. And you'll be fostering the physical and spiritual health of the lost Jewish children and people of the world. I want to encourage you to be a monthly partner with Jewish Voice. The greatest blessing that you can give a Jewish person is the gospel, the good news that Jesus, Yeshua, is their Messiah. So if you want to bless the Jewish people, bless them by becoming a monthly partner with Jewish Voice. Call the number on the screen, scan the QR code, give securely online at jewishvoice.tv, or mail your most generous gift to the address on the screen. As the Lord leads, you may even be called to give monthly. As a Shalom partner, we pledge 100% of your gift goes directly towards ministry work. We can say with confidence, your generosity directly leads to a new destiny a home in eternity for individuals you may never meet until your own arrival in heaven. Thank you so much. Your sacrificial gift celebrates God's faithfulness and the salvation that comes from accepting the love, grace, and sacrifice of Yeshua. Welcome back. Hey, before Ezra and I dive back into the scriptures in just a minute, I want to first say thank you on behalf of everyone in Jewish Voice, thank you for your generous support of this ministry. We could not do what we do without your help. Amen. So thank you. That's Ezra, right. we are so grateful. We are, and on behalf of children, Jewish children in Zimbabwe and beyond, I wanna say on their behalf, thank you for making it possible for these kids to hear the good news of their Yeshua, their salvation for the first time in their lives. Yeah, it's an incredible thing to experience. You're investing, by Amen. the way. Ezra, let's jump into the next scripture. I, I love talking about Yeshua because it aligns perfectly with our mission. That's right. That's what Jewish Voice is about. So what's our, what's our next scripture? Jonathan, it comes from Psalm 62, and this is actually a Psalm of David. And as I read this, I don't know, I'm excited to share it with our audience here, not just this verse, but the whole, the whole context. It says in Psalm 62, verse two, truly he, God is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. You know, David had some tough times and so many of the Psalms, even this one, were written during times when David's being persecuted. Maybe he's running for his life. He's literally hiding in caves because there's people who want to kill him. And he says in verse one right before this, truly my soul finds rest in God. My salvation, my Yeshua comes from him alone. It's incredible. It is. Everywhere, he's everywhere in the scriptures. That's Yeshua right. is to be found. If you, if you seek me, you will find me. Right. Just, just familiarize with the Hebrew letters for Yeshua 
and you'll you'll just find them everywhere. That's in right. The scriptures. And you know, I'm challenged as I read this verse. Truly, he's my rock. He's my strength and my salvation. The one who's saving and delivering me. He's my fortress, the strong place I can go to to be safe. I'll never be shaken. And Jonathan, my question is: Do do we really believe that? Do we do we walk around as sons and daughters of God, living out that because God is our salvation, our Yeshua, we actually believe that we'll never be shaken? No matter the circumstance, no matter the challenge, no matter what comes our way, are we behaving as though we cannot be shaken because yeah. our salvation comes this from the Lord? This is why meditation, not, right. not some esoteric meditation, right. but Hebraic meditation. That's right. To retell, to repeat, to mutter, to confess, Hagah, repeat it again and again. This is a great one to be saying over to ourselves. Yeah. Over and over again, truly, He is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. That's how to get through a pandemic. That's right. That's how to get through a shaking. He is my rock and my salvation. Lord, you are my fortress. I will not be shaken. That's and how to get what? through wars and rumors of wars. Jonathan, you said the word real quickly, but let's, let's just focus a little bit on it for a minute. The Hebrew word for meditation is haga. And what's important for you listening today to understand is, you know, we think of meditation, either we think of it in an Eastern religious way or, you know, as believers in Jesus, we think, okay, I'm going to meditate on the Word of God and it's like this, right? It's silent. I'm just meditating on the Word of God. And yet the idea in Hebrew is literally to speak forth repeatedly, to let it continually flow from our lips. So meditation in the original language, in the Hebrew, Haggah, requires us to speak out the Word of God. To meditate on the Word of God literally means to speak it and proclaim it over and over Yeah, in because lives. the spoken word is a creative force. That's right. You know what God said to Joshua? I love this. He said, if you'll, if you'll meditate in this way by keeping my word on your lips, mm -hmm. it's a strange thing until you understand it. If you'll keep my words on your lips, in other words, if, you're gonna, if you say it over and over again, you will be successful. Everything you do will be successful. That's right. And that's you, a pretty good promise. It is. And, you know, thinking back in the context, you know, Jonathan, people didn't have printed scriptures uh, in the day the Bible was written. It was literally written on sheepskins, sheepskins penned by the scribes, and nobody's carrying around a Torah in their back pocket. Joshua wasn't carrying around a Torah. So what's the way that you keep the Word of God in your heart? What's the way that you meditate on it and carry it with you in your life is you speak it forth. Don't let it depart from your lips. That's right. That's it. That's right. And it works. It, it works. Does. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. It works. We believe with the heart, not with the mind, with the heart. Right. And then we confess unto salvation. That's right. Adonai Yeshua ti, the Lord is my salvation. Amen. Why don't we jump to the New Testament? Sure. And share one from the New Testament. Uh, Hebrews 7.25. We just picked out, there's so many. By the way, we just picked out a few here. Uh, Hebrews 7.25, you have it up on the screen. He is able to save completely those who come to God through him because he always lives to intercede for them. He is able to save completely. Right. Those who come to him. Amen. And Jonathan, you know, all, all, all of many, if not all listening today, we can bear testimony to having our sins forgiven, right? That salvation of being forgiven, coming from going from a sinful nature in Adam to becoming a new creation in the Messiah. And yet to be saved completely, do we walk around as men and women who aren't just forgiven of our sins, who are being saved and delivered by a God who we really believe is Adonai Yeshua ti, God my salvation, able to save and deliver me out of every circumstance. Yeah, this is how to get pulled out of circumstances. You know, to be, we're either gonna be buried by circumstances, they're gonna be right. weighting us down, or we're gonna walk above the circumstances. This is how. That's right. To trust in, the, in a God who be, has become our salvation and to get it into our heart. It Amen. works. Amen. Jonathan, the instruction we have, the mechanism we see in the Hebrew scriptures for getting that truth into our hearts is Haggah, meditation. In the latest in your series, Confessing the Hebrew Scriptures, you've provided a way through this study guide, through this daily devotional, to literally Haggah, verses about Yeshua, salvation, 
uh, for, for a couple months on end. There's over 40 scriptures in there from, from the Bible using that same word, Yeshua. There are, this is, this is number 10, by the way, and probably the most important one, Adonai Yeshua to you, the Lord is my salvation, because that's our purpose as right. a ministry, right. to proclaim the salvation of God, to see lives transformed and ultimately all Israel saved because that ushers in the return of the Messiah. We're focusing this week on children. That's right. We have a dynamic program called the Zara program. It means seed. We're planting seeds in children in remote places in Zimbabwe, in Ethiopia, but we're focusing on the, our ministry to children. This is really important to the Lord. I right. want to encourage you to make an investment this week. If you send a gift to help us uh, reach the children, we'll send you out Confessing the Hebrew Scriptures. It's really a workbook that will help you get the revelation of salvation, of the Lord, my salvation, into your heart in a fresh new way because you faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God and faith is the vehicle for receiving anything from God. And if you can sow a gift of at least $250, we're going to send you the whole library. There it is. Including this one. So there you go. You get the whole library. And I'll tell you, it covers almost every name of God. The Lord, my healer. The Lord, my provider. The Lord, my salvation. That's right. Every promise you need is in here. All you need to do is access it, confess it it becomes a reality in your life. The very first chapter of the New Testament, Matthew 121, reveals you shall call his name Yeshua because he will save his people from their sins. Jewish Voice wants to come alongside you so you can fully embrace that truth. Get your own copy of the 10th volume of Confessing the Hebrew Scriptures, Adonai Yeshua T. The Lord is my salvation. Gain fresh insight on how to speak and confess 40 key passages of Scripture. Go online, call the number on the screen, or write, make a gift of $40 or more, and we'll send that hardcover workbook right out to you. Plus, we'll include this engaging 90-day devotional with silver gilded pages and ribbon bookmark. It's the perfect take-along size, inspiring you to be more intentional about reflecting on God's Word every day. You'll also be supporting our SEEDS program, drawing children around the world into relationship with the shepherd. That's one more blessing that comes with your gift of $40. For a gift of $250 or more, we can reach an entire neighborhood of children and send you the entire Confessing the Hebrew Scriptures Library. That's 10 full color workbooks with scripture, CDs, photos, and teaching that will draw you into a deeper connection to God's promises as healer, provider, shepherd, and seven other attributes of God. This unique library will equip you to confess God's word like never before impacting your own life and your family's life. And you'll be fostering the physical and spiritual health of the lost Jewish children and people of the world. I want to encourage you to be a monthly partner with Jewish Voice. The greatest blessing that you can give a Jewish person is the gospel, the good news that Jesus, Yeshua, is their Messiah. So if you want to bless the Jewish people, bless them by becoming a monthly partner with Jewish Voice. Call the number on the screen, scan the QR code, give securely online at jewishvoice.tv, or mail your most generous gift to the address on the screen. As the Lord leads, you may even be called to give monthly. As a Shalom partner, we pledge 100% of your gift goes directly towards ministry work. We can say with confidence, your generosity directly leads to a new destiny a home in eternity for individuals you may never meet until your own arrival in heaven. Thank you so much. Your sacrificial gift celebrates God's faithfulness and the salvation that comes from accepting the love, grace, and sacrifice of Yeshua. Welcome back. Ezra, we've spent this entire program talking about Yeshua. Salvation. Salvation beginning in, in Genesis through Revelation, the central message of God 
is salvation. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. How? By entering into my salvation. That's right. We would be remiss today if we didn't offer you an opportunity to receive Yeshua, to receive salvation into your life. God sent his only son, and you will call his name Yeshua. He will save his people from their sins. That's what he wants to do in your life. If you have never invited Yeshua into your life, he's standing at your door right now, the door of your heart. He's knocking, and he's saying, let me in. I'll change your life. I'll transform you. For me, it happened 43 years ago. God transformed my life as he revealed Yeshua to me, his salvation. He wants to do the same for you. That's so right. please don't let this moment pass. Amen. All it takes is a simple acknowledgement of, rec of, a, of uh, accepting his free gift and atoning for your sins, asking him to forgive you, and he will. He's paid the price. He sent his son for you. He loves you. That's right. So I want you to do that today. Just ask him, Lord, just you can say this out loud. Lord, please forgive me. I want to live for you. And I receive your Yeshua, Jesus, into my life. Come into my life and change me forever. I choose to live for you. If you said that prayer or any prayer like that, I want you to contact us. You're beginning a whole new life. This program was for you today, and we're believing with you for the salvation of your loved ones, of your family members. We and our household shall be saved. Ezra mm -hmm. and I, we're agreeing together. We have people in this ministry that will pray for you. If, you. if you'd like more information about Jewish Voice, you can log on to our website, jewishvoice.tv, and send us those prayer requests. We'll continue to pray for your needs. We have a team here at Jewish Voice that's committed to praying for your needs by name. We believe in the power of prayer and we care about you. And more importantly, God cares about you. He cares about your family. So we're standing with you. Please know that. As we close our program today, I want to remind you of what God asks of each of us to do on a daily basis, to pray for the peace of Jerusalem according to Psalm 122, 6. And as you do it, the Bible says, they shall prosper that love thee. Until next time, this is Jonathan Burnus and Ezra Benjamin saying shalom, and God bless you. Hi, my name is Ezra Benjamin, and I'm the Vice President of Global Ministry Affairs here at Jewish Voice. I'm glad you visited our site today, and before you close this video, I just want to say thanks. Thanks for coming to learn more about what we do. However you got here today, an ad, a search, maybe even a prompting from the Lord, thanks for responding.